Hello, my name is Jennifer, and welcome to part 28 of House 7 of the Drifter Challenge. And if you are returning, welcome back. And we're in Creative Sim, as you can see. And I have given little Hannah a makeover. I will show her before in the bottom left-hand corner, probably, but somewhere on the screen. So here she is. I gave her three everyday outfits. Here is number one, uh, uh, number two. <laughs> <laughs> she's she can't stay still and number three i think we're either at the end of summer going into fall um so i gave her a sort of warmer clothes even though they're in oasis springs it still can be cooler it's not summery weather i can't remember for sure actually but here we go here is her athletic number one and then athletic number two, I use the uh, fit kit for her top. And then the little leggings are an accessory. The fit kit is not her top, actually. It's a little dress. Uh, so it's one piece outfit and leggings underneath it. So for her sleep, I gave her three. So she still has a pair of these little cute ones from Snowy Escape. Uh, these ones are from Get Together. And then these ones are from my first pet stuff and going on to her party outfit they sometimes show this as also as a evening thing but I gave it to her as a party outfit number one and party outfit and number two and then here we are in her swimwear so she has this little one piece one I don't know how much she's gonna wear this either because I don't know how warm it's gonna be and then I give her this one too with the little swim shorts and a t-shirt over top this is a cute little top I can't say I use it very often so here we are with our hot weather I only gave her two because like I said I thought it was either the end of summer going into fall or fall going into winter I'm not sure and then number two this one is from the paranormal stuff pack and then that is her uh first winter outfit which my sims wear their winter clothes inside so that is sort of with that in mind uh, same with this one the top and the shoes are from the fit kit and then this is her sort of outdoorsy winter outfit with um she has a lot of green because she has green eyes like I believe her mother has so there we go there is our Hannah so we're gonna go into live mode I have actually given her bedroom or what will become her bedroom because I gave her the bedroom down at the end you'll see um so I'll show it sort of sped up and uh so you can see it being built So this is what I meant. You would have seen it being built. Her room is down at the end. I will probably change things out a little bit later, depending on what or how many newbies or kids they have. Um, but this is it now. And I often go with pink for my girls, not because I think girls need pink, but I like this bed and the color that I like the most for like a child is the pink. So that's why I tend to go with a little bit of pink there. So I, you'll have seen that I've assigned the bed already to her and she's still in her party clothes. And I had, oh, I put her back over to WizKid or I put her on to WizKid, which is the one I normally choose for my Sim kids that I can't control because she can kind of influence a lot of that 
without actually controlling them. You can't get it done because you can't get them to do the three emotion potions, but I can usually get a lot of the other parts of that done. Even when I'm not controlling them, it looks like she stopped doing whatever she was doing. And now I'm curious because I had left. No, the the may, the may gardener is still here. Uh, sorry, wrong sim. I was thinking I might have to just leave. I made, I ended up making her, her um, happy, like using cheats because she seems to be stuck. She does not seem to be able to leave. Well, I'll just unlock it. I thought I had access to em to employees, but we'll just unlock it and see if she leaves. I think she like maybe had an accident there. I will um, unlock this and see if she comes in and leaves through that door. Normally I have them locked and I thought I had it normally set to be uh, so that they can leave, but maybe that was the problem perhaps. So she has this one and this one she has one left. So we'll put that there. So we're going to call to meal. Not call to meal. You can't call to meal. Grab a cone together. Oh, look at that. She's cleaning up. What a good little girl. Can we uh, encourage her for doing that? Even though she's going to stop because we no, we can't. Cause she, I guess because she didn't finish. That's too bad. Well, I think that was really nice of you and very helpful of you, Hannah. I really appreciate it. And I interfered. It looks like he wants a new boo. <laughs> yeah, he had a baby <laughs> bottle sign. <laughs> That's quite funny. Now she's stressed. Oh, she needs some fun. Oh, yeah, I can see that. So why don't we, we're talking to the cat. Well, why don't we talk to our daughter? Let's actually put you off of this uh, party animal aspiration and over onto the family aspiration. And successful lineage. We need to socialize with our daughter. Oh, she's got brain freeze there. Uh, I can't remember. I, we are there expecting. I don't remember. That obviously, that must have come right as I was loading into the game. I don't remember. I don't remember seeing it. But maybe it happened at the end of the last part. I don't remember. <laughs> Hopefully by telling her and getting her involved, she won't mind the new boo. Enthuse about cats. You know what? It's been wonderful to spend time with you. We've made some great memories and we'll make many more. And I'm sure, and we'll make many more. Oh, very nice. Uh, discuss logic puzzles. She needs to get her logic. Speaking of which, up. How tired are you, sweet pea? You're kind of tired. Did we invite her to the club? I can't remember. The easiest way to do, to check, is I did. I did invite her to the club. We can't have club gathering here on our lot anyways, but I thought that we would um, check that. And how are the rest of your needs other than I see you're tired? The main thing is that you probably, you know, given the time, should probably go to bed. So why don't we um, come over here and put... Hannah to bed. I kind of wish you could read the kids to bed too, not just toddlers. I like that we can read toddlers to bed, but I think it'd be nice to read a child to bed. So we're going to open this fridge and stick that away and let her go to bed. And then I think we need to look after her fun, which maybe we will do with, did I ever buy an observatory? I was thinking of buying an observatory, but I don't know that I could think where I would put an observatory. I kind of think this isn't enough room. And I know in prior drifter houses, I've like used the roof space <laughs> to get an observatory. Well, we could almost get some stairs. That was obviously the problem. I thought that the, the gardener came in, so I'm not really sure what happened. So we're going to lock the door for everyone but household members. And uh, we'll just unlock it. We'll lock this store for everyone but household members. But we will uh, allow access to employees and hope that works. Because if the maid comes, we want them to be able to come out and like clean up and, and stuff. And I could see about if I could put stairs to go up here or maybe even a ladder to go up to this area. And then instead of having these, we could move them and like see if we could put the observatory up there. Because that would be a really easy way to build her skill and get her fun up. Yeah. 
I wonder if that's big enough for an observatory because I don't I don't think this space here is big enough. <laughs> be quite the look. Let's try it. Let's see. We're gonna move this and put it here. That's where we can also we also have this roof area that we can put it on there. But for now, we'll just stick it with it on on the actual the roof of the physical house as opposed to our garden. So let's see if we can put a observatory there. <laughs> <laughs> anywhere their house takes up a lot of the lot and then their garden takes up the lot at the back so and it's not the biggest lot I have to say so we're gonna go into activities and skills and see if it fits no it doesn't fit I'd have to use a uh, move objects sheet to get it to fit up here well that's a bit of a bummer hmm it's massive I really wish we had a smaller um, let me see. I really wish there was something smaller. <laughs> Can I, oh, I don't want to extend the whole porch. I just wanted to extend the, we'll put this over here and it's a splice plant. That's why it's short. We'll put that there. We will, um, I guess let them just get rid of that. <laughs> Uh, and we will drag this. Oh no, that doesn't work. Hmm. Let's try this again. Nope, still even with move objects on it, it moves it. So maybe we can move this and then see if we can do it. Okay, and then we will pick this up and we will move it. And then we will try and do... Why is it... Okay, whatever that was, <laughs> I'm not sure. And then we will copy this and put it there. And then we're gonna just shrink it because we don't really need it. We just need it there. And can I move this back or probably, oh, let me put it back. Look at that, it let me. So now that I've done that, <laughs> let's see if this can go up here. Yay, oh, it probably works because I have move objects on even if it doesn't, let's see. Did it get rid of that? Oh, I think it did. Let me see. Can I copy this? This is just the... Oh, I bet you it's... That's the problem. It's that little roof. It's that little um fence. It doesn't like that fence there. Oh, well, it's a small price to pay. I'm going to turn the move objects off. Just because I want to see if it's going to work without it. Because I'm curious. And I know we have the... See, it doesn't look like you really needed that. Maybe it was just the fence period that was in the way or the roof maybe it was this that was in the way I don't know so I don't know that we can get uh, I don't I think we need a ladder I don't know that there's any way to get stairs to go up there so we will get a ladder and see if we can no we can't put it there because of that I don't want to put it there because it'll get rid of the window so that doesn't work um but it would work there. We'll put it over there. <laughs> so it's kind of like at the edge of the porch and we couldn't put it anywhere else. So there we go. We have our, um, <laughs> our observatory on our roof. <laughs> so hopefully she can have some fun with that. So now that she's done that, she is cleaning up. I'll let her, I guess I'll let her clean up a little bit more. And I, was this something Oh, that was hers. So we can do that. So I actually had a really good suggestion that each time Liam is doing an autonomous romantic interaction, if the game doesn't count it towards the aspiration, uh, I will take him and have him do one so that it will count. So I think that's, I think that's a really good suggestion because if the game isn't counting something he's doing that it should, then it makes sense for me just to do the one thing and get it to do it. I'm also curious whether when we go to the park, which we need to do before this new book comes, if because we have the romantic interactions with club members, which is only going to apply to them, of course, because they're the only ones who can do it with each other, um, whether that would count instead. So I see we got our money and I know that we put our kombucha on here. I don't, I know we have one ready to collect and I'm going to guess because um, that that was, so we're going to put this here, that, oh, that was only normal, 
And these are all partially drunk out of... <laughs> uh, I don't know what's better to do a... Parsh no, it's excellent. I thought for some reason I thought saw it saying it was normal. Maybe I was seeing something else. So we're gonna send that. That's excellent. Masterpiece. And that was the one that was normal. And that is spoiled. So we shall sell that. <laughs> off off it goes. And we may as well come and collect that. And then I'm gonna let her like do use the observatory over the night to try and get her fun and her logic skill up. If something happens, I'll be back, but otherwise I'll be back probably in the morning. Well, it's morning and Liam is up, so we are going to share the big news because I'm not sure if we did. <laughs> it's been a while because I'd done some pre-recording before when I knew the update was coming, so I don't remember for sure. And I really don't remember it happening. That's, I guess, the other thing. So she got to level 7 of the logic skill with using the telescope that we put out or the observatory that we put up there and she needs to scrub herself and I collected that not kombucha the dragon fruit seltzer and I put it outside at the table and um no oh, there's something that needs to go in the garbage and put another one on so how was your fun still could be better but let's actually try and scrub yourself and then repair that and it looked like you were going to play with her. And do you need to take a shower, sweet pea? You're kind of a little hungry. So maybe you need to come have some breakfast. Are you going to look after yourself? Or are you not going to look after yourself? Because people... I'm not sure how that works with kids. I know with teens and up, they like go start cooking food. <laughs> instead of... Uh, um, so she did that. Good. So we're going to scavenge for parts. And... We probably should come out here and release that track that we already had made. And I should sell all of the ones that are in her inventory <laughs> is what I should do. Look at her again cleaning up. Just like when you were little and you put your toy away. You're just as helpful now. You're not even neat. Which I'm not going to make you. <laughs> not after they've changed the trait. Uh, it was a trait I actually used to use occasionally, but I'm not sure I want to now that they've changed it. Um, I think it would be a bit too obtrusive, to be honest. Now so look at her. She's energized. Is it a holiday? Oh, it is a holiday. Tomorrow is a holiday, so it's definitely fall. Oh, here we go. This is prank day. We're going to delete that because I don't want that holiday. I don't really like it. And I always, I think I've never deleted it because I probably, it always crept up on me just like the neighborhood brawl day. <laughs> um, <laughs> and that's probably why. Oh, look at the, oh, oh, oh. I think he was at three. Oh, no, now it's counting a whole bunch. Was he? I thought he was at three. I didn't think he was at seven. Well, somehow it's come in and now doing it. So let's see whether this goes up and it might be that it already counted it before just because there it went up yay i thought that wasn't as high as that so maybe somehow the game knew so well let's um <laughs> canoodle <laughs> recite love poetry we'll do that look at that it's counting it counted yay <laughs> did the game hear that i was gonna do a workaround or did it just somehow fix itself? She keeps looking. She let the cat. She's all giddy. Oh, they both are giddy about the cat because they're both cat lovers. That's funny. Now the cat's afraid and she is playing or was playing a game. Oh, look, she's going to get food from the cauldron too. Good. We actually, well, we must have got her work done because it would have said it would have been like yellow and showing is not done. So we're going to play with, um... Liam, because Hannah is going to eat. And Hannah probably, um, oh no, she is going to school today. Oh, poor little girl. I should have made her a sack lunch because she's not going to, hmm. She's going to be hungry when she goes to school. Well, we may as well take this food and stick it in there. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure she works today. Yes, she does. In two hours. 
And she's not level seven. She's not level eight of logic, and she's not going to get there either because we're here. So I think maybe what we'll do at the end of the day is we might go to the park and see how that goes. Maybe you should do something romantic. Well, sweet talk doesn't work. We can blow a kiss. It says we can blow a kiss while we're sitting down, so let's do that. Are you still in your party outfit? I think we will change your outfit when we... Oh, there we go. We're going to work from home, and we're going to change into like a uh, regular outfit. Like a normal, we'll change into that. So I was right. So it's not only is it fall, it's like going into winter. <laughs> it looks like. I couldn't remember because I remembered, um, I thought we were still in summer when we, when we ended the bachelor part of the challenge, like just, but maybe it was the tail end of summer. And I guess. I suppose Hannah is now a child, and it took seven days before she became a child, so it makes sense that we're late fall. <laughs> um, so what does, we need to reach, no, we need to splice another plant. I don't know if we've done all of our splicing. I think we did do all of our splicing for our freelance botanist aspiration. So we just need to do it just for the job and not for anything else. So let's finish this game. And was that the gardener coming through? Yep. <laughs> Is he doing any? I'm not really paying attention to see if he's doing anything, you know, romantic autonomously here. Because we are, we did get to nine and we were at eight, so... Yeah, he is, and it looks like it's counting. I thought maybe if I maybe made him flirty, like, or did something romantic. If I had Gabrielle do something romantic, that he might do something back. And now he's all flirty, and he is, oh, big news. That's not a flirty, but he's happy, and it's boosting his flirty from the conversation that they're having. Um, she, oh, right, because I think, is she a maker? I can't remember. I think I maybe did make her a maker. I'm not coming to the right page. No, I didn't. She's proper. I made her proper. Not a maker. All right, so we can change. Why don't we ask to see, because he hangs out in his pajamas all the time. We'll uh, enthuse about botany <laughs> while I look for that. And then friendly asked to see, did he just do another romantic? Oh, was that him? <laughs> was that him? Let's look. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention because I was like going to come and ask him to see his outfit. So I don't know what she's going to go over there and observe this guy. Um, I guess you do need to get that up. Why don't we offer a massage? And there. And I think we already recited love. It looks like he's doing something romantic. Let's see if that counts. Hopefully. It looked like it was something romantic, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Now he's just chatting, so it may not have been. The pink might have been from her doing something with him, and then, um, yeah. Anyways, you, my dear, need to go actually look after. Why don't we come and harvest the soybeans and the grapes? And we have some more evolving to do. We will harvest the dragon fruits. Um, so we get that done. And then we're going to figure out what we're going to splice. So we have spliced this. No, we didn't. This is the one. So it's apple, pomegranate, and cherry. That's our forbidden fruit. Oh, he got, he got a eureka moment from one of his... And it, not enough that it, it any, leveled anything up, so we can't see it. And that plantain tree is nice. We have lots of things ready for evolving. Why didn't you harvest those dragon fruits? And are these... They're still excellent. Still normal. Looks like it's going to be to be done soon. So I'm going to take a look and figure out what we're going to splice. So I looked, and I also asked her to check pockets for seeds. And she had a no luck, unfortunately. So we are going to, we have, it's not big enough for us to do. So the tulip and chrysanthemum gives you the bird of paradise. So that would be a good one to do, except for that it's not ready 
for us to do. Um, we're going to harvest the strawberries and the daisies. And then we're going to... Uh, or And the blue... I'm just trying to think. <laughs> I'm trying to remember my combinations because I don't graft as much anymore because I you can't collect stuff in the wild as easily because you have to be there before five in the morning. They have to be in season and all those fun things. So I tend to rely on buying seed packets and stuff. And I'm not going to buy any seed packets because it's harvest us tomorrow. So we're going to have gnomes. Of course, she's the only one who's going to be able to um, look after the gnomes because the others I can't control them but I'm going to figure that out and we're going to do that in the next part that's going to be it for this part leave a like if you like the video it really helped with the algorithms thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time bye